Race four of the evening has Desir Doherty on, Electric Sill, Lucy with Diamonds, Westland Cricket, Arizona Bucks at the helm, ER Quinn and Pickpocket Princess. They're off and uh, pacing along the inside. Desir Doherty on and Electric Sill out buying for the early lead. Also living quickly on the outside as E.R. Quinn into that first turn. They battle for the lead as they head to the opening eighth with Electric Sill on the outside looking to overtake Desir Doherty on. Finding a gap at the rail is E.R. Quinn in uh, three. Then uh, next in line is Lucy with Diamonds pacing in fourth. Then looking at it from five. That is a pickpocket princess away in a six. That's Whistling Cricket back to Arizona Bucks in seven. And at the back of the field, out the helm, is the early trailer. They're racing single file as they travel on over now to the three eights, led by Electric Sill out there by two. Desir Dorleon in pursuit, second the opening panel, 28 and one fifth second. Down at the rail in uh, three is E.R. Quinn, who angles to the outside to step out first over. Off the turn and into the stretch now as they approach the half. Electric Sill is setting the tempo, opening up the lead now to four lengths. Up on the outside, here comes E.R. Quinn on for second, dropping back to Sir Dorleon up on the outside. And now uncovered third, that's Pickpocket Apprentice, who is advancing as they race into the lower turn. It's Electric Sill leading them on to the five eights, but here comes Pickpocket Princess on the outside, gaining ground now up into second at the rail and uh, now pacing third is E.R. Quinn to the outside goes Whistling Cricket moving up to within striking range fourth then a fifth and moving on the outside that's at the helm on through the back stretch final time pickpocket princess outside is forging to the top electric sill back to second but here comes Whistling Cricket up on the outside now losing cover but is right there now second as they race on over to the seven eights they're led by pickpocket princess outside Whistling Cricket is second at the helm is joining them now on the outside a third dropping back a tired electric sell forth they have an eighth left to come pickpocket prince is trying to fend off whistling cricket 128 was the three quarters they make the final turn pickpocket prince is whistling cricket on the outside on down the lane it's pickpocket prince is whistling cricket on the outside at the line it's tight pickpocket prince is trying to fight off a closing whistling cricket and finishing third is off the helm the mile in 158 flat That did get close. Track announcer Joe Kelly uh, could not separate them here on the line. Uh, hometown horse, Whistling Cricket, or the New Brunswick Invader, Pick Pocket Princess from that outside post eight. Uh, a great account of herself uh, shipping in for John Davidson, uh, trainer and owner Wayne Hubbard. Pick Pocket Princess was trying to get there. Whistling Cricket just kept on coming. Here they are on the line together, a picture. Two to side, a race number four at the Truro. All alone to be third there, number six at the helm. This we know, it's either four, eight, six, or eight, four, six on the triactor for the fourth race. Looks like they're going to parade back number four. Whistling Cricket in the win photo. Four, eight, and six. Top three unofficial. There you see Whistling Cricket on her way back. As mentioned, she was class dropping tonight. Back to where she won two uh, during the month of June and uh, enjoyed that class reef 
class relief tonight uh, gets the job done here in 158 flat as a heavy three to five favorite to four eight six and a three top four on a fish show Fourth race winner now back in the winner's enclosure. Number four, Whistling Cricket. Four-year-old of Amare by Immaculate out of the McArdle Dam, Lady McArdle. She's owned by Heather Gaddy, Gail Skelhorn, Margaret Hobson, and Gloria Carey. Trained by Dave Carey and driven by Greg Monroe. Greg giving the four-year-old Mare a new lifetime mark of 158 flat. 